Yeah, we got diversity, you know. You know, whites chilling with the blacks, blacks chilling with the Hispanics, Hispanics chilling with the Chinese, Indian, Native American, Alaskan, or something like that, Hawaiian, go off the back with everything like that. But there's one thing I don't get. How some people are racist still today and think like they're still superior and the other race is inferior. If you really think that, then you're an idiot. Like, come on, grow up. It's the 21st century. Like, come on. The civil rights movement was established in 1968. That doesn't mean that all racism has ended. Now, you got people out there that are in the Ku Klux Klan. The Ku Klux Klan. Yes, it still happens today. There's a Ku Klux Klan in Okeechobee. There's one in, what, uh, North Carolina? Those type of places I don't want to be. Hey, no. I run into a, a KKK member. I'm out of here. I'm gone. I'm gone. Like, I'm, I don't want to be nowhere near some kind of KKK member or something like that. All I'm trying to say is this. I think racism is stupid because, like, for real, if you can't be equal with someone else that is a different race than you, then you're inferior because you see yourself like the white man, like back in the like back in the day uh, when the proclamation, uh, the Emancipation Proclamation. There we have it. I uh, freed all the slaves. You know. That didn't mean that they had the rights. And you know, the rights didn't kick in until 1968 when Martin Luther King got shot. So, um, you know, so you had, you had that part of segregation, you know, who gets equal, like, like, you know, the whites got this, the blacks got that. And then there was parts where it was segregated by equal. So, the whites would get the good ones. Sh- Glad to get to share the same thing, and the blacks will get to share the same thing, too. And, you know, like, today, when I see racism, when I see uh, 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 a white man disrespecting a black man and calling him out and calling him the N-word, I want to just go up to him and, like, hit him, like, for real. I know, I know, I know a couple of black people have either shot or killed White people, white people, since the white person called them a nigger. Okay, now there's two differences between the words. Nigger. Hey, what's up, my nigger? You know, like that. Nigger. Oh, you're a stinking rotten nigger. Now, how does that sound? Just want to hit that person right upside the head, don't you? Don't get a fat <coughs> right upside the head. I mean, white people got shot and killed for just saying that name. Play, don't play that in Fort Pierce. They, they, they spray you. <laughs> they spray you. They be like, <laughs> spray you at the car wash. Shoot. But, I don't like when white people are racist. Like, for real. Like, I live right next to a neighbor who's racist and called the, uh, the police on us five times for something stupid. Something we didn't even do. And why? Because we black. You know. It's only fair enough. If he weren't racist. And knew it wasn't us. Because he never seen it. This guy is so stupid. That he calls the cops on anything. I remember one time um. Uh, class of 2009 had graduated, and it was a, it was the day of, and uh, one of the graduates, well, I didn't see it, but I saw people running down the road, they threw an egg in their, uh, their garage, right? So, they automatically assumed it was us. So, we come knocking on the door, he was like, why did you throw an egg in my room? I'm like, we didn't do nothing. I just slammed the door, I'm like, forget about him. Then he got the cops coming to our door. I really wanted to grab that baseball bat and hit him upside his bald 
head of his. Bald head. Like, I'll be honest with you. The next thing that he pulls, this racist man pulls, I'm going to get my bat. I'm going to go over there. He's stepping to my lawn. I'm going to beat. I'm going to hit. I'm going to wipe his head clean off his neck. I'm like, don't touch me. I'm going to touch you. You have gone too far. He has already crossed the line. And you know, and that's what ra uh, racist white people do. Racist white girls sometimes, you know. Like, you don't even know that they're racist. But like, say you trying to get with them, trying to sleep with them and stuff like that. The girl automatically calls rape. Who are they going to believe? They're going to believe the white person. They're going to believe the white girl over anything. They won't believe a nigga for nothing. They won't believe any of them for nothing. As soon as a girl calls out rape, the white girl calls out rape, the black person always got to be dropped up in jail. And that's how it happens. And that's how it always happens. White girl calls rape. Who's the one that's going to, who's the really, really, who's the one who's going to believe that? Now for a black court, I will believe the black person. I say, my girl get the crap out of my coat. I'm going to hear your disgusting looking behind anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? But since it's a, it's a white white community, who they going to believe? They going to believe the white person. Oh, the white person said this and they said that. Well, the black person trying to defend himself. But what? Y'all drop him in jail for a hundred years just for that. First offense, 35 years. A white person can get away with anything, but when it comes to a black person, it's just like, oh, we gotta lock them up because Negroes are crazy. Come on. Like, grow up. Like, for real. Look at the Rodney King riots. When four white cops pulled Rodney King over, over in April of 1990, uh, I think it was 1991 or 1992, it was somewhere around there. And all four cops were, uh, Claimed innocent of beating Rodney King. That's why that boy, that bla that black boy, had like burned half of the city down. That boy had a riot. He was like, okay, I ain't dealing with no white people. You know what? I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna burn half this town down. I think his objective was to burn the whole entire town down. Come on. That boy was tired of white people. I can see that. Trying to burn the whole entire city down? I, I see what he's saying. But for real. Like, I don't get it why white people would, uh, would, 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 would let go of a white person. Or, or put a, or put a white person, like, on probation just for robbing something. Like, like if it's something big, then they give them something little. They give them something little. Little. Come on, really? Little? A white person robs a house. What are they going to give him? What, are they going to give him, like, two years, three years? Or probation or something like that? What are they going to give a black person? A hundred years? Lethal injection? Electric chair? Come on, like, grow up. Like, for real. I thought we were supposed to be treated equal. But the way, but the way people be treating us, y'all be hunting y'all racism, like, for real. Tell us y'all, oh, I got another one. Alright. Blacks like white women. We like white women. I like white women. Okay? I like white women. I'm just being honest with you. I I never dated a black girl. And you know in which I in which I will find I'll find a decent black girl. But, you know, I like white women. You know and and, and white girls like black guys, you know? But if you run into the situation where their parents are racist, that's the horrible thing. That's a horrible thing. As soon as you hear them say, "Oh, my parents are racist. They won't let me. They won't let me be black guys." Really? Come on. Okay. Yeah, it's a free country. You can you can do whatever you want and everything. But come on, like you're gonna be racist against my own color. And you haven't even met me yet. See, some people got a reason to be racist. Man, uh, one of my friends, in which I will not say his name, 
But he don't like white people. White people have been taking them off, taking them off, taking them off, throwing them off here, throwing them off there. I mean, he, it is getting to the point. Well, it already got to the point where he just don't like black. No, not black. He don't like white people. And you know, he 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 try to be nice to white people, and you know, he dates white girls and stuff like that. But you know, the way some of them, the way some white people treat him, you know. He doesn't roll. He doesn't roll well with how he he gets treated with white pe people, and I don't play with it either. You call me a nigger, and you're white, I slam you. Try me, try me, try me. I dare you. I dare you. I double dog dare you. You call a black person a nigger, white folk. You call a white person a nigger, and you're gonna see what they're gonna do. Go down to Fort Pierce and see what they're gonna do. Go to New York and see what they're gonna do when you call that black person a nigger. That will be the most devastating day you would ever go through in your whole life. Or if you even gonna live today. Alright? Now cut with this racism, man. I'm I'm up tired of this racism. Like for real. I can't even turn racist because God said you're supposed to love people as yourself. But I don't get, like, there's churches out there that are racist. And they said, oh, you're supposed to love God as yourself. But yet, when a black person come up in there, oh, like, black person, get out of my church. I bet you there are churches like that. They say the, the, the KKK, uh, they believe in Jesus and they believe in the Bible and everything like that. But since they can't, uh... They can't love uh, 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 diversity. They can't love a black person. They can't love a colored person, a Hispanic, uh, any type of race. But, but their own, the Ku Klux Klan, the white. You know exactly where they're going. They're going to hell. I mean, that is simple as that. If you can't love your neighbors as yourself, you're automatically going to hell. And that's a and that's and that's a fact. That's my biblical fact. Now y'all don't say, oh, you know, he's preaching about the Bible, let's, let's give him hell and everything like that. No. I'm talking about racism here, right? You know, racism does have to do a bit with biblical and has to do with factual, you know? But yeah, man, cut with the racism, like, for real. It's immature, stupid, and y'all need to cut the crap. Like, for real. Y'all think, y'all think, uh, 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 oh, look at the government, look at the government. If you say this and this and this and this, it's racist. If you say this and this and this, it's racist. Boy, you don't even know what racist is. Yeah, you lived through the era of the 1960s. But yeah, saying this and this and this and this and this makes you say makes you say that that's racist or you're racist. <laughs> when was the last time you called a black person a nigger, huh? Figure on that. I wonder, white people. Yeah, I'm talking to you, white people. I want I want you to answer this truthfully. Have you ever called a black person a nigger? Think about that. Ponder on that. If you have, don't do it again. Because guess what? You might say it to the wrong person, and that person will not take that well. Trust me. It won't end well. It will never end well. So yeah, cut the racism crap. You know, stupid. You know, black people will go violent for... for black people will go violent over everything. You know, you call them that name. They got the right to beat you up. They got the right. Alright? So yeah, COVID is, COVID is racism crap, you know? Like, I don't see no point of it. We're supposed to love each other, stuff like that. I don't hate nobody. I ain't hate white people. I don't hate black people. I love everybody, you know? And that's what God said. Love your neighbors as yourself. So cope with the racism crap. And... Just be chill with everybody. That's my preach in on racism. 